Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I can't believe we are in a new year now. I mean, it's kind of like the same thing is happening though. It's just New Year. Anyway, <laughs> hope um, this finds you well and hope you are staying healthy and safe. Um, so, finally, finally, I am back with another video uh, for Bible study. Now, I was trying all morning to go live. Honestly, it's like I feel attacked by the enemy or some, something. And like every single time I try to go live, it's always something that happens. Like every time I try to go live on my computer, I have my phone, but it's terrible quality. And I had specifically um, got a uh, webcam strictly for my computer to go live for these Bible studies and it just it always fails like something is always coming up and I know it's not the device it is my computer and it might just be because the device is like higher tech than my computer my computer is very old uh, if you've been watching my um, Bible studies then you understand um, but yeah, I have not had a video, I think, in like a month or something. And um, a lot has been going on, just like how everybody else is going through so many things. Um, so I decided to take a break. Um, but I am back now. Um, I'm still, I, I'm definitely going to still do some makeup videos. But my fo main focus is going to be my Fridays. Um, and then I'm also going to be starting um, something a little new um, to help people get started with their businesses. Um, I, anyway, regardless um, of whatever I do, I'm happy that you are here watching this video. And um, while well, I pray God speaks to you through me and yeah. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and wonderful weekend. And excuse my throat, um, I might have to clear it a little bit. It's been, I have been with this throat problem for two weeks now. I've tried everything, it's not going away. Um, and it's very dry and I have to keep drinking a lot of fluids and I swear I run out of water. So today I need to go and buy some more water. Um, trust me, I'm doing everything I can naturally and also take medicine and nothing is working. I mean, it, it is helping treat it, but I don't know what it is. Um, I thought it was maybe, at first I thought it was, well, I actually, it's a cold also mixed with a little bit of allergies because I have been sneezing some, but um, I thought it would be gone by now. But then I realized at this time around my birthday, because my birthday's in a few weeks, this is when I start getting sick. And my usually my allergies are terrible during this season. Terrible. My eyes start watering. I start getting crusty eye, inner corner, <laughs> cornea, whatever. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, it's just a terrible mess for me around this time to February. Um, but anyway, without further ado, let's get into this video. So just like you saw, um, we are studying from Isaiah 41.10 today. Um, I've just been, I, I had taken some time off of social media for a little bit and then I would just catch up on little things here and there. Also, I'm still doing like my business. Um, anyway, um, I've been seeing so many people out there um, struggling with anxiety and depression and panic attacks and and it's just not a few here and there it's a lot of people and um you know they say it's a mental disorder or anything like that honestly to me i feel like it's um more like a spiritual battle just because fear doesn't come from god it doesn't he and he says it in the bible let's get into it um so i wrote all my notes down um your page is full <laughs> um and so i'm not going to be reading out of the bible because i already wrote everything down that i need for today um but if you do have your bible or if you want to pull it up like kind of like a side-by-side -side thing on your um, phone 
then go ahead and do that too. Um, so, um, here we go. So Isaiah 41, 10, uh, this is God speaking to Israel. Oops, I have my little one here as well. Um, so he's assuring Israel that they have nothing to fear. So let's go ahead and read verse 10. Um, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will up uphold you with my righteous hand. Righteous right hand, sorry. Um, all right, so let's talk about that. Um, so fear not. So fear not, actually, I did some digging for this. I didn't personally figure this out. I, I stole the number online. <laughs> um, well, not stole. I, I found the number online and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna include this. So fear not appears in the Bible 366 days, I mean times, one for each day of the year. Um, if God is for us, who can be against us? Uh, so to fear not means to trust God instead of believing our present situation is bigger than God is. Guys, I will tell you that I suffered from anxiety for like m years, not so many years, but I suffered for, for years and it started because of um, minor drug use. And, um, and then after that, it went from there to just kind of <clears throat> after I had like my son is when I started developing it um, because I was always worried something might happen to him instead of just trusting in God and I did trust in God but it's just kind of like you know we are human and so we do have fears it's a general thing people have fear but it's not of God so um, we have to learn how to combat it um, and a way to do that is by reading your Bible. It, it really, really helps. Um, even if you really don't believe much, like wouldn't you want to believe in something so great? I mean, we all have, we, we do have a maker, you know, and whether you believe it's God or not, we have a maker. And why would God write the Bible for nothing? I mean, not write, but you know, why would he have that made for nothing you know he loves us so you got to read it and i mean that's the only way you're gonna learn how to combat anything like that with fear especially um so so um let me read that again to fear not means to trust God instead of believing our present situation is bigger than God is. One time when I was pregnant of my daughter, um, I went in for blood work at, um, what is it? At, you know, one of those lab testing places. So I went in and I was sitting there and I just, all of a sudden it just started coming over. Sweaty, my palms sweaty. And then I'm waiting for the guy. He's like taking so long to get the needle ready and everything, or you know whatever it is to to take out to draw your blood or whatever. Yeah, the needle. So like he's getting everything ready, and then it's like, you know, they do that thing sometimes, and then like it's just like, um, you know, you don't want to look, <laughs> or you don't want to be there. You're just like, hurry up, just get it over with, hurry. And um, for me, yeah, I was I was starting to sweat. My heart started pounding, and I was in my head. I was just like, <sighs> and then uh, I was just kind of trying to distract myself with things like around the room, or just kind of just trying to block anything out. Just kind of trying to clear my mind in that moment. And instead of praying, and you know, sometimes we forget because we're just so caught up in that moment. <clears throat> and um yeah we just we have to remind ourselves remind ourselves in our head every single time and it's gonna help it really is um if we learned anything um this time like during this time 
Um, we are not promised tomorrow. So why not, why not trust in God? Why not um, have faith in him? You know, <clears throat> I am going to say that this week, and I know I'm talking about myself a lot today, <laughs> which is not good, but um, there's just so much, you know, I haven't caught up with. Um, but um, this week, God has really been testing me, and I know, it, I know it's him testing me. And I've caught myself in certain times, and it's kind of like when you start thinking about it, like, okay, like, you know, I have to trust in God and blah, blah, blah. And then, like, it happens, and then you're like, oh, this is happening now. And it's like, it's good that you catch it so that you could do something about it, like pray. You know, pray, read. Um, this Isaiah 41.10 um, has really helped me get through um, my wake-ups at night where I wake up and, like, you know, my heart is pounding and I'm like, you know, and I'm like trying to, like, touch my husband because I'm panicking. And it's like, what? Like, why? Like, why am I going through this, you know? And, and I know so many of you out there are going through the same thing and um you know i'm happy that people are coming out and saying it so they can get help or or be prayed for or just you know um have support in some way and um for me um i started feeling like it was a spiritual battle and and you know my pastor talks about stuff like this so I, that's how i knew it was and I was just like, like praying, praying. And then it was like, my thoughts were not working like to get myself in there. It was more like I was thinking about things that weren't relevant. It was just things from my past, things that were just coming up, things that were just scary. And which, you know, the Bible does say to protect your heart too from the things you watch and stuff like that. So, and I haven't watched things like, you know, horror films and stuff like that for years, but these movies were starting to come back in my head in the middle of the night or you know just randomly when I was going to sleep and I was going to sleep very late I still am um, and I know many of you out there are also now sleepless having your sleepless nights and um, I think we need to just disconnect from our phones earlier like two hours earlier and I know it's hard for some of us but um, the same way like if you have kids and the same way you tell them to go to sleep sometimes we just need to do the same thing um oh, sorry my leg Ugh. and <clears throat> yeah you know with that i ended up reaching out to some of my friends who are also christian and i let them know what was going on with me um, because i felt like i needed some prayer some support so i did that and um it really helped tremendously it helped me so much and um i don't want to say i completely overcame it because i never know but i know how i know how to stand my ground now i know how to protect myself and um and i'm still learning you know it's a process and nobody's perfect and um I spoke with one of my friends though and um, I had told her what was happening exactly. She was one of the ones I told everything to and she told me, go forward, no fear. So what I did was I prayed about that. As soon as she told me that, that just oh, like woke me up and I was like, wow, like what am I doing, you know? I have God Almighty here, like he's in charge, he's the creator. Nothing is too big for him, nothing. All I have to do is talk to him, all I have to do is pray to him, ask. And um, so then I prayed and then I just kept reading that scripture, Isaiah uh, 4110. And I kept saying, I just kept repeating to myself like, um, push forward no fear push forward no fear and I was just manifesting with it and it really really helped me and and um, I it's definitely helped me so much and I I don't I know it was like 
I want to say a couple of weeks ago maybe I did wake up in the middle of the night like that but I think the reason why I did was because I was dehydrated and I I'm somebody who my body for some strange reason gets dehydrated very easily so um, yeah I think I feel like that's what happened anyway but um, yeah I mean there's it, it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot to process it's a lot to take in but um, as long as you have God in your heart um, seriously just like I said if God is for us who can be against us nobody he is the one that fights your enemies for you instead of you having to go out and fight them or tell them something you just have to pray to God and he will take it from there and he will teach them a lesson or whatever he, he's gonna do <laughs> oh, sorry guys i need to i just stand my foot fell asleep and this thing is too short my chair is too short my or actually my computer is too tall <sighs> okay um all right anyway <laughs> um so let's go ahead and continue reading. Sorry for all the blurring, but I'm just trying to see who this can help because I really do want to help you, whoever whoever really needs to hear this and who will understand it. Um, so, um, chapter 41, verse 11. Behold all those who were incensed against you. So I, the way I take this says, um, is as like cursed people who curse you or something that's what I'm thinking or standing against you um, they shall be ashamed and disgraced they shall be as nothing and those who strive with you shall perish um, you shall seek them and not find them those who contended with you those who war against you shall be as nothing as a non-existent thing for i the lord your god will hold your right hand saying to you fear not i will help you Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Mom. yes Did you give mama apple? yes it's dirty she put it right here okay just put it over there now both my kids up. My son went to sleep very late last night, so he just came out and was like, Mom, why didn't you wake me up? Although Rosalie, his little sister, did earlier. She barged right in his room and was like, Hi! <laughs> Mom! Yes. Mom, I dream that I wear my mask when I was sleeping. Silly. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, so I have a couple of scriptures. When they get together, this is how it is, guys. Um, so God is not the originator of fear. I'm sorry for the distractions too. I, it was. I'm. I'm telling. You, I'm just gonna have to film it and then post it as a premiere or something, and maybe we could chat in it or pray. Um, because yeah, it's it's. She's been waking up earlier and earlier every day. Um, okay, so 2 Timothy 1 7, write that down. 2 Timothy, a two in front of Timothy, 1, those two dots, 7. Leave my cord alone. Um, God is not the originator of fear. That's where it's from, okay? Um, now, this one here is from the New Testament. This is, um, so this one I'm gonna read. This is actually one of my favorites. I love Peter and Paul. They're my two favorite disciples. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. Mm. Um, hey guys, I'm doing a video. Can you keep it quiet please? I'm almost finished. Thank you, love you. Okay, Matthew. So turn to Matthew chapter 14, chapter 22, I mean, chapter 14, verse 22 to 20, oh, to 33. 
So Matthew 14, 22 through 30. So this is when, I don't know if you guys have heard this story. Some of you have, maybe some of you haven't. But um, so the disciples, 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 were, some of the disciples were out on the boat and um, the weather was crazy. It was very windy and the waves were, you know, high surf advisory. Um, that's not what it said in there, but you know, obviously nowadays that's how we say it. Um, so Peter saw Jesus on the water and um, wasn't sure, they weren't sure who it was. And Jesus said that it was him. And Peter said, prove it. If it really is, um, if said that if it really was him and Peter said, if it's really you, let me come out with you. So Jesus told him to go and Peter felt the water beneath his feet. So he came out with Jesus um, onto the water. So he also was able to walk on water to Jesus. So he did that, but, but, so everything was going fine, right? He's like, he's like, wow, if it's really you, let me come out there with you. Yeah, come on, come here and like, you know, come to me. So he gets out of the boat and Peter starts to take some steps, right? Then, um, he, so he took one step, so he took one step, two steps, but then he took his eyes off of Jesus. So he's walking, he's like, yeah, you know, I'm walking, this is super cool. I can feel the water under me, my feet. And then all of a sudden, he just like looks at the waves and everything that's around, like all crazy weather. And and then he just all of a sudden forgot about Jesus and he just fell, you know, he, he forgot everything that he is. Um, so when he took out his eyes off of Jesus and immediately went down. So he took his eyes off of Jesus and he immediately fell into the water. Um, so it's, you know, it's a parallel of us. Just like we do when we start letting the wind and waves that scare us eclipse our faith. You know, that it's it's crazy how that happens because there's times where it's just like, yes, like, thank you, Lord, like for everything that you do. Um, and, uh, and then it's like, yes, I have all this faith in you. And then when there's no money, or there's you wanted something that you couldn't get or wanted to do something you couldn't do and it's just kind of like you give up and you get into your emotions and you know the bible says the heart can be deceiving you know but jesus does know your heart he does know your heart but the heart is deceiving um so also when peter called out to jesus he didn't reprimand him, nor shame Peter. Jesus immediately reached down, lifting him out of his predicament, just like God does for us. So, you know, even when we mess up, when we do things, we shouldn't feel ashamed. We will feel ashamed because the Holy Spirit condemns us. And... Uh, or convicts us, I'm sorry, not condemns us. He convicts us every time. So anytime that you're going to ask for forgiveness or um, anything like that, it's like before you do, you just feel this kind of like, you know, when you, when you tell a lie or when you do something bad and you have that guilty feeling, that's how you get when the Holy Spirit convicts you. And then that's when you ask God for forgiveness. And a lot of the times, you know, how does this fit with being fearful or whatever, or having anxiety or panic attacks? Well, you ask God to forgive you for not trusting and having faith in Him. Faith is seeing without believing. So we have to try our best to do so. I mean, I know for me, um, sometimes, yeah, it does happen where I'm just like, you know, Lord, like, you know, our money's kind of going low. I mean, I trust in you, Lord. I know you've always come through last minute and has delivered. But then there's times where it's like, oh, and then you start stressing. I start getting, you know, stiffness and knots in the back over here. And it's like, oh, I need to get in a bath. And 
and the bath isn't working, <laughs> you know? And it's like, sometimes you do everything and the only thing you need to do is ask God to forgive you for not trusting in Him and to continue and to ask Him to help you um, and guide you. But anyway, um, that's all I have for you guys today. So Matthew 14, 22 through 33 um, and 2 Timothy 1, 7 and the main one for today, um, Isaiah 41, 10. Um, yes also one word i didn't speak about this morning or you know earlier was um so fear not for i am with you be not dismayed so dismayed means to cause someone to feel conster consternation um and another word for consternation is perturbation and perturbation is anxiety so, um, yeah, we just have to really pray for that, um, that God really helps us. And, and, you know, in the Bible it talks about using God's sword, and the sword is the Bible. It says it in there, to use the sword, which is the Bible. So, uh, and it says in the beginning there was the Word, too. In the beginning there was God, but in a later chapter it says, um, in the beginning there was God's word so um, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a huge thumbs up thank you guys so much for everything you do if you're new to my channel welcome I'm so happy that you came here today and um, did this Bible study with me come back next Friday I'm still figuring out what time so for sure by 11 I will have something up um, whether it's going live or just doing it because I you guys know I've been having the people that have been watching my videos you know that I've been having some issues with my lives <laughs> so yeah um, thank you guys so much and um, I want to go ahead and pray for you or pray with you um, so go ahead and pray this prayer and please forgive my children because they are here now and they're being extra big time right now <laughs> So, um, here we go. Thank you, Lord, for giving me another day to live. We understand now during this time that life is precious and we worry sometimes. We're human and we can't help it. We pray that you guide us and protect us from any harm and any sicknesses. We pray that you, that you help us trust in you and have faith in you and only you because without you there's nothing else above we pray that you continue to help us financially we pray that um, we pray for our family and for our friends may you protect them as well and keep them safe from any harm and any sickness and may you draw them close to you as well as me please forgive me for my sins and please wash me by your blood. Thank you so much for the clothes on my back, for the shelter that I have, for just the luxuries of living in America and the freedom that we have. Thank you, Lord, for all you do. And thank you for love, your love and mercy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.